the entire idea of buy what you like, that's a lie because people never actually respect when you buy what you like, regardless of the brand, the item, what year it came out, if it's trending, doesn't matter. That's a lie. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back another video on talks with TJ and yeah, I, I really do think the whole buy what you like thing. I do think it's a lie. Why? Because no matter what fashion is subjective. So it's going to differ for everyone. Style, taste, sizing, color preference, material preference. Everything will differ. The problem is also that as much as we say like, yes, let's let's uh, make this inclusive and everyone's involved and everyone's invited, whether it's sneakers, fashion, doesn't matter, um, that, you know, buy what you like, but then there's crazy judgment that comes out, right? No matter what the category could be, there's crazy judgment that comes out. Uh, that's out of season or that went out of style like so long ago. And I can't believe you're still wearing that. And why is it only you wear this? And why don't you wear that? That can be for people that only wear retros, for people that only wear Yeezys, for people that only wear uh, certain numbered Jordans, right? Some people will never go past 14. And that can be the same thing with clothing. You have some people that, listen, if you're, a, if you own that you only like hype things, that I don't care. I don't think a lot of others should care either, but you'll have someone and maybe they only wear, I don't know, maybe they only wear supreme or bape or uh sakai listen if there's somebody that only wears like sakai and acronym that's a totally different tax bracket as well maybe that's what they are super into and and it it aligns with their style and their preference and what they want but that will be a problem in some people's eyes right so is that really buy what you like and wear what you like no it's not like i think it's great to say but as we continue to progress on, uh, it's really not a, it's really not aware what you like. I just think it's a phrase that people like saying. Um, so like myself, listen, I work from home, which it's such a blessing. It means I can truly wear whatever it is that I want to wear, which I adore that freedom. And so it's because I don't have to be in an office. And a lot of times I'm not forced to be on camera for a zoom call because I would actually have to somewhat maybe I don't know, act as if I care about being business casual <laughs> camera, depending on the meeting. Um, I get the chance to be comfortable at all times. That may be a dad hat, that may be a fitted, that may be a knit beanie, that may be um, me lounging around in fear of God sweats. That could be me lounging around in Jordan sweats, Nike sweats, minimal sweats. I have all kinds of sweats and I'm in them every single day. I may swap out some pajama pants or something of that nature because maybe I was just too lazy to really change that morning, but I have the preference to really do, or I have the choice, I should say, the freedom, the autonomy to really wear whatever I wanna wear on a day-to-day -day basis. And you know what that means? Stocking my closet with things I want. So let's just take a look at some of the recent pickups. This is also probably one of the most light-skinned unboxing <laughs> videos ever. And I only say that because I got stuff by Curry Brand, Drake, hence the hat, and Fear of God, so Jerry Lorenzo. Two Sundays ago, I picked up the restock of the certified lover boy hat on Drake's website. I'm not sure if other items restocked, but I was finally able to get my hands on the white dad hat. So again, it's a basic dad hat, $28, except you have the lipstick graphic on the front bill of the hat and CLB and font on the left back. You have white detailing for the strap itself. And it really is just truly a white hat. Of course, it has the black swoosh and then also CLB in old English font on the back. Now I would actually like to pick up quite possibly the hoodies if they are available and they restock for retail. I'd love to pick one up in either the gray, the navy, and maybe even the white colorway.
This Drake dad hat is not the only flexible fit dad hat I picked up. As you guys may know, I've been on the hunt for just a regular Curry brand hat. And finally, I secured that with the restock on the Under Armour website. So on the far right, you guys are seeing the black on black Curry brand hat. You guys are also able to see the brand new hoodie available in the gray colorway with the black curry brand logo on the front. You honestly have a double kangaroo pocket with the regular kangaroo pocket, but then also zippered pockets on the side, which is a great feature for storage and I'm wearing a size medium. Now, when I said wear what you like, I'm truly going back for older Fear of God first and second, maybe even third collection items. So on the far left, you guys are seeing a first collection t-shirt in the gray colorway. I'm wearing a size small, just something comfort. I still like the elongated look to be able to layer under items. And then on the right with the uh, Drake hat, you guys are seeing another first collection shirt, long sleeve. This was released at PacSun. I'm also wearing a size small. This actually came with the tag and this is so old that it still goes by the name fog instead of the essential switch he made a few years later so yeah some of these items are very old first collection possibly you know first and second collection so these are definitely old do you know what they are just basics they're staples they're styles that i still like because i still like the long layered look so i'll wear it and enjoy it because I can. Uh, it's also just really comfortable to lounge around in these shirts. Like those gray ones, extremely soft. This one here, and it's not a true white either, which I'm, I love that I got this. Listen, still had the tag on it. Okay, look at that. Still had the tag on it. This is actually, so you know it's first. When they still called it FOG, and then it eventually switched over to being called Essentials, but still had the tag on it. So this was actually one that was available at PacSun. Um, yeah, literally still had the tag on it. And with this, it's not a true white. So I'm actually partly wearing that just so you can see like the Drake hat, true, true stark white. This one is more of an off-white colorway. Uh, but I can lounge around in these and be comfortable all day, every day. That's what I would hope for you. So 100%, I am the person to say, buy what you like. I don't care the brand, the style, the preference, whatever, and stop caring if other people care what you like and what you wear and stop giving a damn about what others are wearing. All right. As always, I thank you for tuning in. Act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.